Alright. Hi. Welcome back to Shell's Pearls of Wisdom. We are back for round two with the beautiful Valerie. Now we have a, another guest on her lap. Please introduce the pup. This is Brigitte. She's a rescue dog. She is part Chihuahua, part Dachshund, so they call her Chewini. Chewini. I've never heard of a Chewini. And yeah, and she's ginger. She's a little orange, little orange dreamsicle. I'll see. I want to call her Lucy because she's so red. <laughs> <laughs> She'll fit right in the pinup world. I know. <laughs> so, um, Valerie, once again, let's get your AKA in there. What's your pinup name? Valerie Voiture, which is French for automobile, and it's a double alliteration. Double V. Yeah, it's one alliteration, double Vs. <laughs> so, um, you know. if you're just now joining us, there is a part one to this, and Valerie just gave us a little um, snippet into her life growing up and kind of like what got her to be who she is today. Um, basically, um, if you have ever looked at the pinup world community at all, whether you're interested in starting a life in it, or you're just a lover of vintage cars, vintage motorcycles, or the clothing, this is a wonderful community of people. Um, so far, I've been blessed, and I've only met positive people. And yeah. Valerie is one of those positive people, just to kind of give you guys a little insight on that. I met her in person um, about a, a little bit, almost like a month ago. Yeah, it was yeah. February. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically a month ago. And um, I met her during the 2020 uh, Detroit Autorama show. Yes. And she put together this awesome dinner of all uh, these, yes. yes, yeah, of these, all these beautiful women. And we all came together and we had dinner together the night before the show. Yes, now, it's ladies only. Ladies only. Yes. And let me tell you, because I come from not a great community of supportive women in my life, I was like, oh my God, this is going to be horrible because everybody's going to be catty. Everybody's going to be judging mm -hmm. everybody on their skin, their makeup, and their whatever. And this is what I thought. I was so flipping wrong. A, I, have, I was the last person to show up, so I was super nervous. I was like, shit, everyone's going to be sitting down, everyone's going to already be talking, and here I am going to stroll in, like... Like you knew everyone, and you did. Yeah, and um, everybody was so nice, and mm -hmm. so like, hi, oh my god, I was hoping that you would be here, and, and like Valerie was at the head of the table, and she like introduced everybody, and... I finally got to meet her beautiful self in person because once again, I kind of Facebook stalked her a little bit. Not too bad. Um, but I already kind of knew her just from um, what I've seen, but I had never met any of them in person. So it was just such, I just want to um, take the opportunity to actually say thank you again, Valerie, for putting that together. We do it every year. So every year you're welcome. Oh, I will, I will definitely be back. And um, it just gave me a sense of just, sisterhood and I I just can't express to you how nice it is to be around a group of women who are all beautiful in their own right and none of them be these bitches that you are used to because usually if you're beautiful you, you sometimes have a little bit of a stank attitude I don't know why that has to come with the territory but these women were all down to earth funny as fuck when I tell you I laugh <laughs> I yes, I heard you laughing down at the end. It was oh, awesome. Oh God! We, we were saying some stuff that I was like, "Oh my lord!" <laughs> well, I know. <laughs> but it's a so, private room, and it's girls only. And what oh, stays at Giovanni's, or what what happens at Giovanni's stays, stays at Giovanni's. At, but let me tell you, you were at the other end. I don't know if you could hear what was going on at our end because we were closer to the couple. Okay. And oh, the couple. Yeah, yeah. No, I no, I caught on to that. It was interesting. I was like, what? Is it's going Detroit. On? What are you gonna do? It's Detroit. <laughs> it's Detroit. <laughs> I was like, somebody okay, so just to kind of give the audience so that you won't be like, <laughs> what are they talking about? 
let me tell you what happened. So we go to a really upscale Italian restaurant, okay? Like upscale, not McDonald's, not an Olive Garden. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's there's nice real linen. restaurant. Yeah, it's awesome nice. Awesome food. I enjoyed my Everything's pasta. Everything's all apart. Food. Yeah, very expensive. Not too bad, but it's one of those upscale establishments where, you know, you're going to try to carry yourself a little bit different because you're not like in Vinegar, okay? Right. And... So we're sitting, we're in a private room, like she said, but there's like one couple like off to the side. So basically the whole room is us, but then there's like this couple and um, she was like five sheets to the wind. Bless her peak at heart. She was gone. Okay. Um, she had a little bit to drink. She had a little bit too much. I mean, a little, like the, the bottle. She had the bottle. She had the bottle to drink. Something. She, was, she was gone. And she was dressed nice. The guy was dressed nice. You could tell that they were on like a romantic date, you know. And the next thing, you know, we're, we're cutting it up. I'm talking to the ladies. We're all kind of like talking. And the next thing you know, you hear, you know, I give the best blow job. Oh, I never heard that. <laughs> That's what made us like, oh, lose our mind. That no. Like, it's not what you say out loud in front of other people. We say that in private. What? Oh, so we're down here. I am down there. And so, <laughs> so she says, no, I give the best blow jobs. And I was like, I'm drinking. I'm like, Grrr. and I look over to my right. And the girl looks at me and she goes, yeah, yeah, you heard that. I was like, okay. I look over to the left and the other girls are like, yeah, that's what I thought I heard too. Okay. <laughs> and I'm like, well, to each his own. Like, if you like blowjobs and you get the best one, shit. Figure out what you like about yourself. Didn't we already <laughs> Right, right. You figure out what you like about yourself. And maybe you're like, these lips right here are some good dick sucking lips. Those are what those are. <laughs> or what do you guys teach me? E I O U. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe this is just her guy giving talent. And she just wanted this young this man to know. Freddie Mercury of blowjobs, apparently. And didn't care who knew it. No. And I mean, she said it loud. Like, like it was like matter of fact. Like, if you guys didn't know, now you know. Now you know. If you don't know, now you know. Now you know. So <laughs> time passes, and we kind of get over that, you know, because, you know, we're all shocked, and we're all just, like, eating our pasta, like, twirling our noodles, and we're like, okay. So time passes. She ends up knocking over a whole glass of wine, like a whole <laughs> big really? glass of wine, which brings my attention, because I am always noticing what's out of place and things that are happening. So when I hear this glass fall, of course, my attention gets, you know, over there. And I'm looking. I'm not nosy because I'm like, oh, she dropped the whole glass. This man is now in front of her with a box. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. It, yeah. Who knew? Oh, right. I, I mean, I've been doing this wrong for years. And that's the first thing I said. I'm like, see, ladies? That's all you what had to you say. Be a good kid uh, out uh, there. Uh, that's all you had to do. Right. I don't literally what? like that. I give the best slow job. <laughs> Say no more. Say no more. So, I'm just saying, this is how I meet these group of girls with this circumstance. Welcome to Detroit. Woohoo! <laughs> so, now it's just, it, that just made the night. Like, if it wasn't already a great night, this happened so icing you know, on the cake <laughs> it was icing on the cake and um we were just we were just had a great time so um good i'm glad to tell you that that it was an awesome yeah. awesome experience and thank you for good it together what's the drive then it was so worth the five hour drive so worth it's it. a long drive it was but it, it was not it was once i got there and experienced the whole entire kit and caboodle of what it was to be at autorama it was so worth it. I will be yeah. back until. Yeah, it's I good. Go I like. It. I like it. It's a good show. It's fun. Yeah. It's yeah. huge. You really have to plan multiple days. 
I've, I've, you know, after how, what, 10 years, I just know that you're not going to see the whole show. You just can't do it. It's like yeah. Lone Star Roundup in Austin. You, you can't, it's impossible. They, there's like 10,000 cars at yeah. the Roundup. You can't, you're not going to see it I all. I didn't leave there until they were shutting it down because I was so infatuated with seeing everything. I wasn't oh, really? Much. Oh, wow. I didn't leave until like 10 o'clock at night. Ooh, did you stay yeah. the did you stay the night though? I, I, I did. No, I had a hotel. So I stayed there okay. the whole night. It was we stayed there so long that it was like um the doors of the security wouldn't let anybody else knew it because they were shutting down. Oh sure. So, gotcha. Yeah. So I, I, I got to take it as much as I could because I was just like so like oh my god, I wanna see that one. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't get to go see this one. I wanna see yeah. this one one more time. Like it was like that. So it was a great experience. Um, yeah, with that pretty being, good. yeah, with that being said, you said earlier that you don't really compete in the shows. So I do not. I do not. Have you ever competed or? Never once. Really? Never once, no. And why is that? Because I'm a really shitty loser. <laughs> if I can't win, I don't want to play, but I know that about myself, so I just don't let it happen. Oh, well, you know what? I respect your honesty. I, do. I mean, I, yeah, no, so I don't. And I, um, I think we were talking about ch childhood earlier. I played tennis as a kid and I will play tennis with friends or whoever now, but we only volley. I can't keep score because I get weird about it. And I, I want to have fun. I don't want to be weird about it. So I already know what I'm like. So I it's take measures okay. to minimize that evil beast. Even though you don't um, participate, though, you have a phenomenal vintage wardrobe. And yes, I yeah, do. you have one of the most expensive ones I've seen so far. Um, and she was dressed to the T. I'm going to see if I can pull some pictures from her um, her day at Adorama because she looks amazing. What did I That's wear this why, year? Huh? What did I wear this year? Give me a sec. It was um, darker. I know that. Oh, green velvet that I got from my friend yeah. Sarah Pierce. Yes. Oh, so, it's beautiful. It's uh, green velvet with um, the bell sleeves. Oh. Yeah. And yeah. I am a huge. I'm a huge emerald green. I like all the jewel tones. But okay. Green is one of my special favorites because I. Your eyes. Yeah, and it's. Um, because I'm a huge Harry Potter nerd and it's the Slytherin house color. So I'm a Slytherin. I am a Slytherin. Yeah. I am too. Are you really? Yeah. I'm a Slytherin. I, did. I knew I'm I liked you. I'm a Slytherin and a little bit of um, a Gryffindor. Like, oh, really? Funny. Yeah. I'm yeah. Ravenclaw Slytherin. Yeah. I mean, it depends when I take the test where I sometimes could be a little bit of a Ravenclaw, but then at one point, I have, I have two boys, and we've all done it. And my one oldest son is a true Slytherin. He's like, like, true yeah. black, dark rabbit. But um, my other son's a Hufflepuff. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, and you know what's really funny? Hufflepuffs are some of my absolute favorite people. They're like water signs. They're the biggest hearts, yeah. the most trustworthy, loyal, yeah. just the sweetest people you want to know. I he love is. Hufflepuff. I love, love him, and he's a true Hufflepuff. Oh, and I love him so he, much. Some of my best friends are Hufflepuffs. Oh my god! And he's like, like my other son makes fun of him. He's like, whatever, Hufflepuff. And I'll just be like, shut oh, up. Oh no! Uh, don't let that happen. I oh. know. Oh, Huffle buddy. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. I, I love my Hufflepuff. I love him. I, yeah. And he's so endearing, and he's so like always wants to be the helper. Always wants to be the person that can like be there. Like he's truly, he's, he's truly oh. to the name. Like I, that's what made me yeah, trust the test. Because as soon as they told him that he was a Hufflepuff, I'm like, okay, I'm a Slytherin then. Because he's totally. <laughs> <laughs> so you know um, what's really funny? I knew going in what I was gonna be. I already just kind of knew, just because you just know yourself at a certain yeah. point in life. Yeah. You know what you're yeah. good at. You know what your your shortcomings are, and you work with what you got. But. I knew I was going to be Slytherin because I've always been ambitious. I've always been resourceful. I'm, mm -hmm. I, I'm the kind of friend where if you have a problem, I am, I'm not the best listener. I will try, but it's really hard for me to not help you solve the problem. And I know a lot of times people just want you to listen and I yeah. get that. And so I always tell people I am not that friend, but if you want help figuring shit out, 
Uh -huh. I'm who you call. I mean, I will still try to listen because I love you and I care, but I'm not good at it at all. I'm not good. Because then all I, all I end up saying is, oh, that must suck. Oh, I'm sorry. And I'm like, I feel like there's probably better things to say, but I don't know what they are. But let sometimes me fix just, the problem. But you know what? Sometimes you need a friend like you because sometimes you just need a doer. And yeah. You're a doer. I am a so doer. For you're sure. the doer. So that's yep. that's kind of like where I fall in. I'm I'm actually a little bit of both. That's why I can say I'm I'm not completely a southern because I'm the listener. But while I'm listening, my wheels are turning. Where I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah, you're a thinker too. Yeah. Yeah. And then after we're done, we're like, this is what we're gonna do. <laughs> and then it's like, yeah. Let's let's yep. take off from there. So don't don't get me started because unless you're ready to make some action happen, don't come to me yet. Cause I'll be like, <laughs> let's get this, let's get this party popping. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, once again, because of how extensive your wardrobe is and everything, I totally thought that you were a complete com like person that could see it because you would be stellar. And, um, I understand about the winning thing though. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't like doing, I don't like feeling that way and I don't want to make other people feel bad. So I just yeah. don't. Cause that was the, one of the first things I, you mentioned earlier that, you know, Alicia, she's my mentor. She, she's, uh, I'm a baby pen up. So she's my mama bear and she's yeah. helping me like make sure that like I'm, I'm having the right etiquette. I know like the right yep. people to talk to and yep. things cool. of that nature. Mm -hmm. And, um, that was one of the first things that she explained to me about being humble about winning and losing. And she was like, you know, Everybody wants to win, of course. Everybody wants to crown. Mm. Everybody wants to sash, of course. That's what you come there for. But at the mm. same time, it's about being like just supporting yourself. Yes. yes. So as soon as she told me that I would have to do that, I kind of had to like rearrange my mind thought because I'm mm -hmm. very competitive too. Yeah. But um, I think this this environment made it very easy for me to be happy for other people to win, just because they were so incredibly happy. Yeah. That it's like I couldn't like help but be happy because well, they wanted it contest? just as much. I don't remember. Huh? Was it World of Wheels? Your first contest was huge. Yeah. It yeah. was a huge contest. So yeah. just let the people know that you don't you don't start small. It's go big or go home. <laughs> That's what Alicia said. Like, to you. I, I mean, know Lisa told me she you were doing Milwaukee, and I was like, what? What? <laughs> yeah. Wow. This is how she told me. Alicia is not someone who's like timid. She's very blunt. So yes. I was like, um, hey Alicia, are you are you going to World of Wills? And she's like, Yeah, I think so. Um, I might have my niece with me, so I will have to see. I'm like, Oh, I would really like it if you're there. You know, she's like, Oh, are you going? I'm like, Yeah. And I thought she automatically knew I meant I was competing. She thought I was like going just to like check it out to kind of get the feel of stuff. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I'm so nervous, though. She's like, oh, don't be nervous. Everybody has fun. It's just fun. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, really? And she's like, yeah, like, just have fun. Look at the cars, you know. I'm like, okay. I'm like, well, I don't know what I'm quite going to wear. Once again, she's still like, oh, have she fun She doesn't with know. Me. Yeah. No, no, I'm, I'm, just, I'm with you. I'm with you. And I'm just like, oh, yeah. And I'm like, I guess I'll just wear one of the stuff that you gave me because I like everything I had was like borrowed. So I'm like, I guess I'll just wear something that you, you know, you let me. And she goes, um, yeah. Um, Something happened where it finally clicked to her, where she's like, wait, wait a minute. She's like, are you competing? I was like, I'm like, yeah. She's like, she's like, holy shit. I was like, I'm like, I'm like is that wrong? I was like, oh no, now I'm scared. <laughs> I was perfectly fine until she said, oh shit. I was yeah, like, that's what I said when I learned. I was like, damn, this, this new girl got some. Cajones, Ufta. It's like, I go, yeah, I'm going to Detroit too. And she's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baptism like, by well, fire. She goes, go big or go home. That's what I say. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, well, are they big competitions? And she's like, honey, she's like, they're two of the biggest. So I'm like, oh, okay, well. Well, oh, I guess. But you did great. You did. You did get second place in both of them, right? Yeah, I did. Yeah, so if that's how you start, you, you you got no place to go but up. I'm I'm telling you, I just loved it, and I didn't know how. Like when people were like practicing and saying stuff, I didn't know how to not be me. So 
Half well, you me, should not not be you. I so. know, but I That's felt like thing. everybody carried their like their name so well, and they just knew who they were. And I was out here like, I'm just Shell. Like, I really want my pen name to be Shell. <laughs> That's just what I you am. You one name. Yeah. Shell I mean, Madonna did it. it. But Gaga does it. it. It's fine. One name. I love it. Name. But um, it was funny because, like, it it came to the point where everybody was so helpful to yeah. everybody. Where they, yeah. like, their slip was showing, their bra was showing. And then that's yep. when I was like, okay, this is so, yep. this is yep. my thing. Like, yeah, yep. It was just, and then you helped me. Like, I, I remember at one point I had, like, girls, like, try to help me pin my skirt because it was falling down. It was, it was just, like, such a hot mess. And in my mind, the whole time, I'm like, this is totally not what I thought this was going to be. Like I thought this is by fire, baby. Like I just really thought people would be like, Ugh, oh, your hair's messed up, whatever, we'll fix it. Like I did Alicia's oh, kept no. me from coming out looking like the Polish flag. So I had did my hair do and I always send pictures to Alicia before I was gonna do anything. And she goes, Um, girlfriend, what you doing with your hair? I was like, What do you mean? She's like, You look like the Polish flag right now. She's like, fix that. <laughs> What? What did you do? What? What? That's hilarious. How did you do your hair like a flag? I don't remember. Or maybe I didn't see it. Well, I changed it before I did Oh, well, that's why I don't know. There you go. What did you do? Like have a white and a red flower? Is that what you did? Wait a minute. Hold on. I had a sequence. Like I had like Red, white, red, white. <laughs> oh, like, honey. She's like, uh, she's like I mean, girl, uh, you look like the Polish flag. Like, when she said it, she said it so, like. <laughs> so, thank you, Alicia, for not letting me go out looking like a Polish flag. <laughs> I mean, I've seen worse looks. But <laughs> not from you. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so just to be around women that are like that and um, yeah. women that you suffered with bullying. I've been, I've been in the steam for about 10 years and honestly, 99% of women are like this. This is yeah. just how it is. And it's nice. And I, it always breaks my heart when I hear stories of women who stuck their, their toe in the proverbial pool and they had a really negative experience the very first time because that would really ruin it for, for you, I think. And I, I just, you know, I wish you had magic where you could say magic words to make them let that go and try again and yeah. be around the right people instead of the, you know, the, the shitty ones because yeah. they're, they're out there. They're not, they don't last long. Shitty people don't last long on the scene. You, you watch, just watch. Um, I've seen assholes come and go and they just don't last very long because there's nothing to keep them around. I mean, if you're not a nice person, if you're not humble, if you're not, you know, actively working on the bonds that you've made, then why are you here? Right. I mean, you can get, you can wear a, a, an A-line skirt any day of the week, but why are you here? You right. know, it's right. really about camaraderie. It's really about um, his, the preservation of the good parts of history. Not all, not all parts. That's right. important. And, and just a sense of camaraderie. I mean, one of the best things about the John Wells shows is the motor family hashtag, but it's really a feeling. So yeah. it's nice. You know that if anything happened, if you broke down an hour outside of Dubuque, you could have 10 different people come help you and you know. That is, that's so true. Like for anybody watching this that's even thinking about being in pinup or your baby pinup like myself, she's absolutely right. Like it's not a community that that if you if you're scared about going into it just try it because it's intimidating i'm not gonna lie yeah it can be it, anything new is yeah. though as an adult adults adult learners are funny people don't like it if they're not perfect at it right away so girls who do contests that don't place they give up right away but that's normal for adult learners if you're not perfect at it you don't want to do it. Nobody wants to put the work in and the effort and the patience that it requires to, to evolve, basically. Yeah, and that's the sad part because if I would have, if I would have uh, 
I loud for my nerves that day because once again she also yelled at me and told me to get my 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 ass in the car and go because I told her I wasn't going to compete because I was having a problem with my Polish hair and my dress not fitting right and she's like if you don't get your ass into that goddamn car and bring your ass to the competition I was like okay because she told me she's like all the girls go through this everybody has had a moment where they felt like they weren't pretty that day or their hair wasn't right or their outfit wasn't right. And it took a good girlfriend to tell me, suck it up, buttercup, mm -hmm. get it together. And get go. out of your head. I think get she literally said head. that. I think she actually said something like that, like get out of your head and mm -hmm. go. And yep. that is something that is, I will forever tell this story of the Polish hair and how she yelled at me about getting my ass out there and doing that. And then all the strong Polish women blasting oh everyone God. around. Like I've never had someone talk to me so harsh. Like she was like, <laughs> and, and the thing about it is, she's a sweetheart. But when she oh, had yeah. to like, be like, I was like, okay, all right, I'm gonna do it. I was so yeah. nervous. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. And that's what I needed. And the 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 funny part of it is, when I got there, everybody was like nervous, and I was like, what? yeah. 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 Some people can't get out of their own heads though. They then they'll sabotage themselves, which is so unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah. But but you watch some of the girls who just have like um like a light spirit and they just do it for fun and they they do it because it's a good time. Who cares? You get to go on stage, talk about your your grandma or whatever the questions about and you get yeah. to share a piece of yourself and Hopefully the people like it. If not, you get to pat yourself in the back for being brave because exactly. building so, up those small braveries helps you tackle big it's a shit. A crowd in life. of people, and you don't realize how big the crowd is until you walk back up there and everybody's now gathered because the yeah. show has started. Because when yeah. you're in the back and there's nobody really scattered, you kind of think to yourself, "Oh, uh, no big deal." Really, right, and you go out there and you're like, here. "Yeah, so, there's a lot of motherfuckers out here." And then for myself, for being my first year there, I really didn't know what to expect. So other girls at least were kind of trying to tell me in the back of what to expect. They're like, so everybody's probably gathering around the stage now. And I'm like, who's everybody? <laughs> and they're like, they're like, everybody. And they're like, oh, girl, oh, just wait. Don't be nervous. <laughs> Like so, everybody's. Pro and I'm like, who's everybody? <laughs> <laughs> little, little did they know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people. It was, it was a lot. It was a lot. Cause when I went yep. back there, it was like the judges, and that's it. Like it was like you no. Know, and then all of a sudden, you come out there, and it's like a sea of people. And you're like, yeah. All right, where the hell did all you people come from? All right, okay, let's get this party started. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> So, um, yeah, um, but it's, it's fun when I came to your booth, because now that I know that it's your husband. Yeah, that was, tall, ginger, beardy. Yeah, I did not know that. I just, I did not know you were even married. Um, what's your husband's mm. name? Mike. Mike. And how long have you been married? Ten years. And I want you to plug his business, because he does own a shop. Yes, Gas X Garage. Gas X Garage. And mm -hmm. you guys are on the social media, I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Say it one more time so we can make sure everybody in the back heard you. Gas X, A X E Garage. Perfect. And a Gas X, it's a, it's a play on words. A Gas X is a, um, like a slang term for a seedling torch. So you can, when you chop tops and uh, cut up axles and whatever, uh, Gas X, use a Gas X. Okay. Well, yeah. So the vehicles that were around that part, like the um, one um, brown vintage one, the the rustic looking one, that was his yep. then. Okay. That um, that one's owned by our friend Nick Hardy. He, they found that in a garage, in a, like a, it's a barn find type thing. Okay. Think, that was awesome. I took a couple of pictures of that one. Yeah. Nobody nobody touched it because when you find stuff like that, you don't cut it up. So that's yeah. how it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Some awesome. stuff you can chop, some stuff you can make into a custom, but stuff like that. No. Nope. Yeah. All right. Literal piece of history. 
with you having the vintage soul that you do, you talked about earlier how you've always been kind of a thrifty store shopper because you, you talked about how growing up you, you weren't the most um, wealthiest family. So sometimes you found yourself going to Goodwill and Salvation Army and you still do this to this day. Oh yeah, for sure. It's like treasure hunting. She has an amazing collection. I'm hoping to get a couple of pictures of her collection too to put up here. <laughs> So you can kind of see what her collection is. It's like a Barbie's dream house and you just want to go in and play. Okay. I do. You know, what? because I, I had a Barbie when I was a kid too. And I love that white fur stole she had. Remember? It was just like a white fur. Mm -hmm. I got that as an adult. I was like, yes, my Barbie. Did you see um, Fanny Bruiser when she came as Barbie dream? The Barbie dream yes. house? She oh, had the white know. fur. I yeah. know. I was like, I looked at her like. I just want to play with her. I want to, I I want to, I want to move her and around. All the years, she's been doing it a long time, too, and I'll tell you that my personal favorite look of hers was this year, for sure. Yeah, no, I she really, said that. I she really said really that she stepped out of her box a little bit for this one. So Yeah, and I'm a huge glamour puss, so I love that. I mean, even though I wear Grateful Dead, and whoa, I'm still, I like my glamour. Oh, yeah, you were glamour when I saw you at the Detroit one. You were totally yeah. glamour. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody that busts out crushed velvet? Glamour. Okay. <laughs> Maybe not during quarantine. I'm wearing a Grateful Dead t-shirt and a woolly sweater and my I glasses. Did. I have um, pajama pants underneath this uh, dress. I have on. They're bell bottoms. Look. <laughs> I go, I go, Anne. Chuck him off, Fino, Anne. Chuck him off, Fino, Anne. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, with since now that I know that you're you have never competed, that is something new. I would have totally thought you were a veteran, actually. No, um, I'm a veteran of serving looks. Yeah. Oh yeah. Not, oh definitely. Not, not competing. Someone else called you when I was speaking to them. They call you a a mama pinup. So you're kind of yeah. like. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think it's just because I've been doing it for so long, and I. And I am the oldest, like we talked about earlier, so I'm kind of a natural teacher and mentor. So, I mean, I will help anybody. Do you I've, have um, any workshops or anything that you do? Or? Yeah, so Alicia uh, put the um, pinup studio together, and I'm I get to be part of that. So, okay. I um, I did a posing workshop with that series. I'm working on um, um like an automotive knowledge series so that you know what car you're looking at or if the photography is actually helpful. really helpful. Cause I'm yeah. not that, yeah. that, I've got, yeah. I've got a lot of feedback about that request. And so my yeah. goal is to help you figure out like, where's the Ford Fairlane or what's, what's a Willys. I mean, that kind of stuff. Like the difference between a, a hot rod, a custom, a rat rod, an art car, a street rod, there's definite differences, but most, most pinups don't know because they don't have a husband that runs a shop. <laughs> I was going to say, you well, have a little fair. bit of in, not, in, uh, in no uh, knowledge. But yeah, to be fair, I knew a lot work. about cars before I even met Mike, though. My dad had cars. My brothers worked on cars. Like I feel like from my cousin Vinny, my father's a mechanic, my cousin's a mechanic, my brother's a mechanic. Yeah, I love that movie. I know, me too. I could watch it a thousand times. My biological clock is ticking. I love it. I love that movie. I love it. However, um, anybody that could quote my cousin Vinny is the shit. I'm just putting it's it a out bullshit there. question. Nobody right. can answer that. Right. Okay. Sorry. And then, and then when she like totally told about the car at the end, where she's like, you know, because that wasn't made in whatever year it was. Yes. Yes, right. I was like, yes, I was like, get it, girl, get it. Yes. <laughs> well, Mustang did not have a 361 until 1964. However, timing would have been two steps left at dead center. Oh, there you go. Oh, you but I know it. I know what she's talking about, so I can remember. It's not hard. I love it. Oh God, she's cute too, right? She's very cute. And she's got an accent. I love you. Remember, I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker for accents. You've been busting out accents this whole entire time. I'm gonna come over to Detroit and find you. Did you ever? Okay, so last year we had that polar vortex come through. 
Yeah. And we, we got a shit ton of snow. I don't know about you guys, but on the west side of Michigan, we got so much snow. It was unbelievable. So I was snowed in. Mike was in California for a week, so I wasn't going anywhere for like a week. So I started getting stir crazy. I don't know if you, did you, if you ever watched Ren and Stimpy as a kid and they had that whole space madness episode, I had some space madness action. So I actually put on all this like fur coat and hat and scarf and shit. And I went outside and I did that Russian video with the Russian accent. Are you like, serious? So Is funny. Is it that was so now? ridiculous. Oh yeah. I was like, yeah. I'm outside in all this fur and I'm like, we don't let little silly snow stop us what we are doing we get outside we drink the vodka and we can live our lives <laughs> oh my god you're yeah. crazy <laughs> i, I can just do really stupid accents i don't have good accents i'm trying to think of what a good accent i would have i would just be like the I can do like i can do like new york i can do like don't worry see? about it don't, don't worry about it, it. It's whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it counts. I, I say it counts. It counts. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so just to kind of wrap up this segment, um, it's been so much fun talking to you. Yeah, um, I'm so glad. This is such a fun idea. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love doing this, and I love doing it with people of your magnitude because of the simple fact you're fun and you're just being yourself, and that's what I want. I don't want any funny business. I just want your true personality. No, I'm I'm a terrible liar, so I can. It's so hard to be phony. I just that's good. I, I don't want you to be a good. Liar. <laughs> I cannot lie to save my life. Honestly, I, I I'm the worst poker player I've ever met in my life. Ooh, let me. You, you ever want to know what I think? Just look at my face. Oh, it's are like, you one of those people that wear everything on your face? I am too. Like yeah. I have coworkers at work that say, Michelle, fix your face, fix your face. And I'll be like, what? They're like, fix your face. I'm like, okay. Because if somebody's yeah. talking to me, I'm like. Every once in a while, every once in a while, Mike will uh, nudge me and I'm like, oh shit. Yeah. Yeah. I do that. Oh, you should see me on the phone. I'll be like, hello. <laughs> and Wait. you got stank eye for days, even though your voice is sugar sweet. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> or if I get really super high pitch, I'm like, so this is how we're going to do this. And then all of a sudden my coworker's like, oh shit, she's getting pissed. Oh, <laughs> it's about to go down. Oh no. Because I have to get like a higher pitch voice because I can tell that I have like a real like so I have to like be like even more happier <laughs> so that I don't <laughs> come across sounding angry. <laughs> Which makes me sound crazy when I do it. That's hilarious. Um, for us, ba for us, baby pinups, myself included, what is one pro of wisdom that you can give us with us starting in this journey? I think that um, recognizing that the only opinion about you that matters is you, which I have said before many times. If you, if you know, and it's like RuPaul shit. Like if you don't love yourself, no one else will either. It's the same idea. Um, figure out what you like about you and run with it. That's yeah. what makes you, you. And the fact that you like it makes it even better. It's a bonus. It's a bonus. I, I just, as a baby pet up, I respect and look up to my, I, I, I'm going to call them mama bear pet up. And I look up to you guys, not only just because you guys look great. I mean, that's a given. You guys put your looks together. You guys are awesome. Your hair is perfect. Your makeup is perfect. But I look up to you not for that. That I can find. That's just there. practice. Yeah, that's practice. What I look up to you is for the fact that every one of you so far has exuberated confidence. And confidence is something that I have lacked in my past a lot. And being around women with confidence gives me that boost of confidence. Yeah, that's I true. think it's infectious for sure. Yeah, it is super infectious. And especially when I get to do these pearls of wisdoms where I get to actually talk to women who have suffered through abuse or neglect or being bullied. Any or, hardship makes you stronger if you yes. do it right. Yeah. Yes. So it just makes me look up to you. It makes me just proud to say that I'm part of this community now. And honestly, I just look forward to working with you guys some more in the future. As soon as we get off this whole entire quarantine bowl. We get to um, hug everyone. Yay! I know. I'm going to lick people's faces. I'm just going to be like. Hugging. 
I'm gonna let I you. hug hard too because I am strong like bull. Oh, well, strong like bull. I gotcha. <laughs> it's okay. I was built to have triple H boobs, so I'm strong too. You can give this back to <laughs> me. So I'm good. But um, I'm going to wrap it up with Valerie. Um, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so very much for being on my show. Yeah, thanks um, for letting me. It's been fun. Definitely come back on again. And I want to hear from your husband. I want to talk to your dog some more. I just <laughs> I want to know more. And um, <laughs> hey, baby. Hi, Ginger. <laughs> so um, definitely before you guys get out of here, lick, uh, lick. Look it. Um, <laughs> Hit like. Don't, Hit don't lick it. I mean, if you want to lick your computer, Coronavirus! <laughs> but hit like and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later. Hang on, Val. Don't hang out with me. All right. Bye. <laughs>